Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to create a text filling effect using Blender and then creating this whole scene using the cycles. This will cover materials and lighting. So since there are a lot more things to cover, we'll get started. So here I'm in the new scene and first let's get rid of this box. And let's create a text. So shift press shift A then text mm, then we'll rotate that out mm, in rotation in x degrees from 90 um, I'll press the tab key to edit this text and I'll simply type in a P and press tab again to get rid of the edit mode and come back to the object mode so Currently, we are having a default font, which is uh, well, not really fancy though. So, come into the font section. So, here you can edit and extrude or do some fancy things. So, I'm gonna extrude it a little bit. And in font section, I'll use my custom font, so which I downloaded from the internet, from where you can get it too. And so I'll navigate that through and hopefully yes I'm using f00.ttf font which gives me a slightly roundish and tunish look and we are done now with the text but before since it's just one text and we will need to do these things again and again so just make some backups press shift D press shift D Shift A. Okay, so first rename this name. This will be my P. The second one will be U. L. P two. Okay, so first. Okay. select this P and since uh, it's just a text object and not mesh object we cannot we cannot add any physics to it so first we'll need to convert this text into a mesh so for that just press alt and C and say mesh from curve metaballs uh, surface or the text and hit that and now if you hit the tab you'll see it's actually have polygons and in physics tabs you'll see now we can add as many physics to want as per we want but since it's triangulated so there's an easy fix mm, go to a polygon mode well select all press add j which will try to triangulate okay so we are done with our text now, so it's time to add some fluids. First thing you will need is a domain object. Well, this is not a basic tutorial, so I'm not going in too deep with the, how it works. So I'll better try to explain it where it needs, but. If you're not familiar with the fluids, I'll recommend you to watch some other tutorials which are explained well enough to get into the fluids. And so let's get started. So first we'll need a first we'll need a cube. So I'll make a mesh and a cube, uh, roughly a size of my text. Currently I'm dealing with only one mesh, and later on I'll explain you how to do this with the with multiple letters okay so i'm pressing z to get into wireframe mode and i'll scale my domain a little bit to get to fit into my text i don't want it too big or uh, too small Okay. 
So this is my domain. So I'll quickly rename that as domain. And in the physics tab, I'll add fluids and set the type as domain. The speed will act as a collider since the, since here is the collision tab, but the fluids will not work on this collision. If you want your fluids to collide with the object, you will need to add a fluid collider which is called as an obstacle. Set the volume initial initialization to shell. By default, it is kept to volume. So keep it to the shell. And since we'll need a emitter, I'll simply create the I'll simply create the UV sphere and scale a uh, well little and place it in between my text object. Select the emitter, go to fluid, and set it as an inflow and and set the direction from where the Fluids will fall. So in my case, I'll give it minus one in z axis. If you want a little bit of variation, go and slightly edit the y or z value, or x or y values. Go to your domain settings, and here you'll find a bunch of settings. First is your the preview, and the preview is what you see in the viewport, but the final is what you render. So if you don't want a preview and you directly want to see a final output on the viewport and set the preview to a final so the 65 will be in the cell size and which will be seen on the viewport too yes you define the cache for your fluid sims you may give your custom path or you just leave it by default it doesn't matter in domain world you have a viscosity type since the oil is less viscous and honey is more viscous than water, it depends on you that which type of fluid you want. I'll choose honey since I want a little viscous effect. And, and the meter, it's a yellow size and we'll talk about that later on if we need to. Okay. So in order to see how it looks just hit the bake cache and here you can see it's already started baking and we can scrub through and see how it's looking and we have a problem what oops let's escape to about the simulation and make sure your emitter is exactly in the center of your mesh and it's not away from your mesh again now select your domain which is now converted into a fluid it's not a box anymore and hit bike again if you scrub through now using the right click you'll see it's getting filled up and getting filling 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 okay so the simulation is completed and let's see what we got till the frame 250 and we are getting some leakages and we are not even getting our text getting filled fully so in order to fix that we'll need to decrease the real world size else what we can do is increase the speed of your inflow so I'll keep that to a minus 3 and the randomness is okay in okay let's change the meter me real world size a little bit so it will get filled up quickly and let's see how what we get now and we have almost finished our simulation so let's see now we are getting fully filled well almost But we have a serious problem that is the leakage, which is happening from the backside. Okay, that's great. Let's hide this P2, or P, 
or the P2, same meaning. Okay, so first I'm gonna do shade smooth. So I'm just hitting a space bar and typing a shade smooth, which will try to smoothen that out. And as motion getting started and started and getting like H over here. So how to fix that? Well, there is a solution and the solution is to make another mesh which is roughly around this shape and have a collision. That's it. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is create uh, another box, cube box. Scale that in. Okay. First, remove the outer top. Oops. Hit X and select the face. Same thing with the bottom. Mm -hmm. And now hit it. Hit the space bar and type in subdivide. Mm select all and type in subdivide and one more time subdivide and let's come to a modifier section and add modifier called uh, the shrink wrapper or is uh, shrink wrap select the object yeah to a target P and it will try to get that shape out of it as you can see here we are getting let's get rid of the type mode or object mode or edit mode and here you can see it is trying to capture that shape that we have which is actually very easy in time saver technique which is cool but yet we have another problem since our shape is fixed let's hit apply and go to the edit mode and delete those faces mm. because even they will block our physics which is coming in their way okay Let's quickly rename that as a shrink wrapper P. And go to the physics, fluids, obstacle, shell. Select your get rid of the edit mode and click on your domain and re simulate, repay. Okay, so the simulation is completed and let's see how it looks. Perfect. Yes, since there are no leakage, we are getting a text fully filled and very much in shape. Well, yet another thing you can do with this text, and which is removing this AG look. So, first thing. You select your domain, go to the modifier tab and add a modifier called smooth and increase the factor. As more you increase, more it will try to decrease the edginess. So, well, <laughs> I'm not finding any better word for it. Uh, repeat will also help. Adjust it as per you feel it's cool. And one thing, get the shrink wrapper and hide it. We don't want to see it, and also hide it from your render view. So here's a first letter for me, and unfortunately, you'll have to do this with every character, with every letter. And one more thing, you cannot have more than one domain in a single scene. So how to do that 
So the solution is first you create your our letter stem and increase the buff size which will cover up the all letters and accordingly you'll need to increase your cell size for example currently it is set to, say, set to a 65 which is doing pretty cool now but if you stretch that in for the four letters the quality will get lost and you will have a pretty boring fluids so as the size increases of the domain its resolution should increase relatively so since for one it's 60 from doing it for two for the tutorial purpose and to save some additional timing so here's a quick re recap for you so first select a next letter that is you hit the tab edit the text set it to you Oops. and hit tab again to get rid of that and press alt c to convert that in to into a text to mesh and then uh, the next step to go into edit mode in face mode select the face press a to select all l j to go triangulate and that's it and in fluids set it as a stackle and put the volume initialization to shell okay that's it again create another emitter for this one and I'll choose the USB again scale that in and see whether it is inside the text keep it where you want and, and now since it's a domain is filled up and since uh, the mesh is cast, what you'll need to do is select another cache folder. So I'm going to create a new directory. And select that folder, which will bring me my spear domain again which is string just because of we have an X modifier applying on it so I'll get rid of that and we'll add that later so let's check that where is it sufficient for uh, both of the characters so I'm gonna scale that in into X a bit till then it fits in completely I think this is okay and since I have doubled my domain size I'll need to increase the resolution as well so let's try with 110 no, 100 whatever you feel great and another thing select the USB fluid inflow like whatever your access you want to okay let's try x this time minus one or higher okay so i'm gonna re-simulate this again so till then i'll pause the video okay so the simulation is over and let's see what we get we are getting a subtle result no look at so far in the new mesh which is cool but it's not getting filled completely so We'll use the same technique to increase the emitter speed. So instead of minus two, we'll go minus whatever, five, four, whatever you feel. And I'm not going to resume it again, but I'm gonna do the same for all the meshes and I will, I will get back to you when it's done. So finally it's done and we'll see what we've got. okay so on top of the domain I added uh, a smooth modifier as we did before till it 
looks good and the going settings are um, 120 which little trick actually you may go higher if you want a very detailed looking uh, effect but 120 really worked for me without doing anything so that's cool let's create uh, another aspect of this tutorial which is doing shading and lighting so in order to do that let's switch over to the cycles and let's create a environment for it so let's create a plane for it scale that in go to edit mode by hitting tab in edge mode press E to extrude our mammals press E again till it forms a shape okay well, it's good enough and select all the edges and uh, press ctrl R to add in a loop and slide it over to the center so same thing again press R ctrl R and slide it on the other side similarly select the this particular range and Control R and place it here, which will give a sharp on edge when we put a, a subdivision modifier. Okay, that's cool. And not the thing hit the shade smooth which you can do from here as well shading smooth flat smooth okay so I've aligned the camera as well whatever direction you want and according to that let's adjust our environment uh, uh, let's adjust our studio plane Okay, 